Hello everybody, I'm Interim Dean Carrie Moorhead from the University of New Hampshire Graduate School and I'm here today to show you how you're going to experience the hooding ceremony as part of your commencement. A little bit of background, as you may know, academic regalia have a long and storied history. For example, I'm here in a PhD robe, which would indicate that I've earned a PhD, and that you can see by the three stripes down my arm. Multiple schools have, at this point, their own school colors, and I'm thrilled to show you that UNH, to celebrate our 150th anniversary, now has our own PhD regalia, which you can see today. Hoods, which is what we're gonna talk about for your hooding ceremony, also have a long and storied history, and the color of the hood itself indicates your academic discipline or interdiscipline. So each discipline has its own color. For today, what we're going to do is look at the fact that the hood has different pieces to it. When you get it in the package, you'll discover that this may well be hooked around the little button on the back. If you were a faculty member and wearing this hood for a long time, this saves you losing, uh, causing you back strain. But for today, you do not need that button to be clipped. So first thing, open up the button. Second thing, there's a dongle in the front of your hood. That's the highly technical term for it. So take your dongle and put your hood over your left arm with the dongle facing forward. What you want to do is you're going to hand your hood to me in a way that will allow it to fall open making it very simple to get it over your head. We are now going to demonstrate what is likely to be your first instinct when you see your hood and you think about how you're going to hand it off to the dean for hooding. So you're apt to face me and put your hood right between the two of us. This is also quite common that it would be in essence back to front. So if you turn now and I show you what happens, your hood is now a little bit lumped up and it's going to come over your head and be upside down. So how do we avoid that? Excuse me, I'm going to take that off. Watch now as we do it a little differently. We're now going to demonstrate exactly how we would like students to proceed with their hoods. So as you can see, in this case, the student is walking up. She has turned toward the audience before doing anything with her hood. It is still over her left arm. She will then hand me the hood. Thank you and the dongle is right in the front as we described, I then reach over to her loved one and together we put the hood over her head, over the student's head. And you can see that the dongle is right there in the front and the hood falls open if we could just ask you to turn around and you'll see at the back it opens up beautifully so that you can see these fabulous colors that are associated with the degree program. Briefly, I'd like to make a comment about the tassels on your hat. You may remember from your undergrad experience that at one point the president says, congratulations alumni, and you actually literally moved your tassel from the right to the left. In academic parlance, that means you are now considered a graduate. Once you've graduated, you don't go back. So that is not something that you will do again to indicate that you graduate with your masters. You are done with that. You now have earned the right to have your tassel on the left. So when you come to the event, if you're wearing a mortarboard and tassel, make sure your tassel is already situated appropriately.